going to make macaroni cheese because we're going to learn how to make a uh, sauce uh, thickened with starch. Okay. So first of all, to cook your pasta, if you remember in year seven, you did a uh, pasta salad, and we filled a saucepan two thirds full of hot water from the tap. To that, we added a quarter teaspoon of salt. half a teaspoon of oil and that oil will stop the pasta from sticking as it cooks. Now you're not going to add the pasta until you get the water to a rolling boil. So while you're waiting for the water to come to a rolling boil, you can grate your cheese ready for your sauce. The cheese you're going to do on the white board in the cupboard and you can use any hard cheese. I've got a mixture of cheddar and red Leicester. The red Leicester will give it a nice colour. If you want, you could use stronger cheese, such as Stilton. And you're going to grate the cheese on the large hole on the grater on a flat surface, none of this. You'll grate the hands. And you want 150 grams grated. Okay. Now don't forget when you use the measuring scales that they need to be on zero and they need to be on grams. Fifty grams of cheese. Melted. 
and then you're going to add the flour. And you're going to cook that flour off. So you're going to coat it in the butter and cook it for about approximately one minute. And it will make a nice little ball paste in the middle of your saucepan.
and you can take it off the heat. Turn that new job. So you've got a nice coating sauce there. And that's going to be made thicker because you're going to add half your cheese to that sauce. There's no need to leave it on the heat because the, uh, the heat of the sauce will melt your cheese. I'll put half my cheese in. Now cheese is quite salty. So I'm not going to add any more salt, but I am going to add some pepper to flavour it. And the trick they use in the catering trade, so they don't have to use as much cheese, is to add a teaspoon of mustard. Because that mustard will um, act as a flavour enhancer and make your cheese more cheesy. So a teaspoon of mustard, you don't have to add it, it is available at school for you to try, but it actually reduces the amount of cheese you need to use to get that cheesy flavour. So I'm going to give that all a nice stir, and as you can see my cheese has already melted in my sauce, and when my macaroni is cooked, we're going to put the whole thing together. So that brings us to the dish you need to bring. You need to bring a heat proof dish. Okay? Pyrex, crop, but it has to be heat proof. So I'm going to test my pasta now, see if it's done. I'm squeezing it through my fingers. That's not quite there yet, so it needs another few minutes. again. That's nice and soft, al dente. Soft, you can bite through it, but it's not soft. Now, to drain my pasta, you need to clear your sink. Any bubbles. And you need to get your colander out of the colander, out of the sauce you covered. It could be metal or it could be plastic, you place it in the sink, you turn your heat sauce off, you take your sauce from the sink, you do not hold your colander, and you drain the pasta into the colander. Give it a shake, get rid of any excess water, put the colander on top of it, and bring it back over to mix with your cheese sauce. So you're going to mix the macaroni with your cheese sauce. Now, if there's three of you working in the kitchen, obviously there are not six ribs for you to cook your macaroni and your cheese sauce separately. So, if there's three of you, you need a large saucepan and everybody's macaroni needs to go into that one saucepan. Once you've coated all your macaroni with sauce, it then goes into your heat proof dish. And if you have time, we're going to grill. oven 
and you turn your um, top oven switch right the round, way around to the two squares. The one square has two dots, which means you put half the grill on. The other square has four dots, which means you put the whole grill on. With the gas cookers, However, you need to turn your uh, switch towards the square and the ignition by the square. Check the top of the oven to make sure you've got a flame. Put it on the flame. Make sure that your rack, oven rack, is low enough to take your dish. And then to be absolutely safe, proof dish on a baking tray, on top end of the grill, and that will probably take about five minutes. So while that is melting the cheese, you will need other gloves when you get it out, you can wash up and tidy up. tomatoes to decorate it and if you wanted to make the um, dish, dish more balanced you can add some vegetables such as um, peas or sweet corn or some uh, lightly fried mushrooms